Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand, and we are back with a PayPal request. I'm gonna go ahead and read the message here. Hey Andy, love the videos. <laughs> Can't say that with a straight face. Hey Andy, love the videos and hope you you're can hope you have continued success. I caught that you did a reaction video of a cover of Nine Inch Nails, The Perfect Drug by a drummer going by Delta Empire. Recently, Nine Inch Nails has started playing the song live, even though it's from the back catalog. They have Ilan Rubin on drums and he is absolutely amazing. Video link below. Hope you enjoy. All the best, John. John, honestly, thank you so much for this pick. Uh, thank you for the support on the channel of, as well, of course, but so many people have mentioned Ilan Rubin and I'm aware of these recent drum cams that he's been putting out. I haven't seen them. I have seen Ilan Rubin play drums before and it's absolutely mind blowing. So yeah, this is the first time uh, watch for me and I just cannot wait to get into it. Guys, remember, if you do enjoy the channel, please do consider subbing, liking, leaving a comment and of course, original video link in the description of all my videos so you can go along, support the artist. In fact, I'm going to do that myself on the original video. I'm going to subscribe, hit the like button. Well, I'm sure it's going to be completely amazing, but I'll leave the comment till afterwards. Guys, I do feel like I should mention my Dromeo free 30 day trial. The link has been broken for approximately a month. I've had a lot of messages regarding the link not working. It is working now. And the reason for the broken link was a lot of work going on over at the Dromeo site. And now, believe it or not, Dromeo actually includes guitar lessons, piano lessons, and singing lessons all within the same site. And this doesn't take anything away from Dromeo itself. So if you are just interested in drums, they got you. But they've also got access to all this other stuff. So hey, family band, you can actually get everybody in on a different instrument and uh, experiment, dabble in other instruments yourself. It is truly amazing what is going on there and well worth the wait, but I don't think you should wait. I think you should jump on the link and um, try it out. Have a look. You will not be disappointed. Anyway, with that said, I need to go top up my coffee and we're going to check out. Finally, we're going to get to Elan Rubin. It's Nine Inch Nails, the perfect drug live drum cam. Oh, those words, drum cam, music to my ears. Let's check it out. Has he got a keyboard? Elan Rubin's got, is that his, his keyboard to play there? Interesting. That's ridiculous. Singing harmony on top of this crazy awesome train beat. This is so right up my alley. Now, That's what she said. as I said in the intro, original video link in the description, please do check it out if you want an uninterrupted version. I highly recommend it. Do that anyway. Elon Rubin, go on. You need to be subscribed to Elon Rubin. But um, what is so cool here, why this groove sounds so awesome is the mixture of ghost notes, accents, and that gray area all about the dynamics the stick control here is just it's something i'm going to back it up a little bit because this is just such a delicious accented I, I mean i consider this a bit of a train train groove but it's a bit more intricate than that um super super cool Look at Elon Rubin's hands. He's actually quite high up on the stick. I wonder if he's got a bit of a marching background. It looks like a, it's not necessarily that, you know, all marching players um, have a fulcrum sort of in that area. But I wonder, I'd like, I'd like to ask Elon Rubin if I ever get the chance to talk to him. Hey, you, hey, you never know. <laughs> if I do get the chance to talk to Elon Rubin, I'd like to ask him about his background.
<laughs> I've talked before about the holy trinity of snare tones. I, I actually can't remember who I put in that holy trinity. I know Gavin Harrison was in there. Maybe it was Craig Blundell, perhaps. And I noted that, hey, they're all using Remo controlled sound. Elan Rubin, controlled sound right here. That's a great snare head. I've used it on my most recent covers. Uh, I did about four or five covers in one session. And if you look at that drum, I'm using an old Acrolyte. It's got a con Remo controlled sound on the snare. Why am I talking so much? I think I've just had too much coffee. There's just so much going on here. One thing that often pops up on the channel, open-handed drumming. So this is a really good example of open-handed drumming. And I'm assuming he actually plays ambidextrous both ways because his ride is over in the right hand position. So it looks like he leads on either hand, which is just awesome. It, it makes for really exciting visuals and uh, also obviously opens up potential melodic ideas. If you're playing open-handed hi-hats on your left hand, you can access the toms really easily and powerfully on your right hand. Um, just so much going on here. Check out those hi-hats. When he's playing that hi-hat groove, the hi-hats are, man, he's hitting hard. You know, one thing, one question I see pop up occasionally on different forums online is what do I need to do to be, you know, get bigger gigs, be a, I don't know, a rock star, if you will, um, you know, back a big artist or, or land one of those really big gigs like Nine Inch Nails. What you need to do <laughs> is play like Elan Rubin. I'll just leave it there. I mean, Matt McGuire, Elan Rubin, they're sort of the prototype. They're the blueprint of what it takes to be a hard-hitting stadium type drummer. This is so exciting. My heart is beating out of my chest. It's so edge of your seat exciting. This is, but still so groovy, perfect, but with an edge. It's just, oh, this is just pristine, but still rock and roll. I don't know how he's doing it. jumping over on the keyboard.
I think I don't know the song overly well. I feel like we're in a vampire. He keeps looking over at um, Trent Reznor to see, you know, is now, now, now. It feels like a lot of this is actually improvised. It's not as much fun to pick ah, yep. Up the Called it right then. Last one. Wow. Yeah, that ending was really interesting, actually. He jumped over on the keyboard, as you do, when you're Elon, Elon, <laughs> when you're Elon Rubin. It's an element of improv in this gig. He's looking over now. He's playing that piano vamp now. Nope, no signal. Do another round of that vamp without you, whatever the vocal line is there, without you. Playing his uh, piano vamp. Look over. And then eventually, just before I stopped it, actually, just be- a signal done so the, those type of things i mean these are the things i really notice and I, I, I wouldn't say i'm looking out for them but i do notice them and that indicates to me a level of improv and excitement so i mean if you go to a nine inch nails gig although there is that industrial somewhat mechanical in a good way electronic hybrid type vibe to the band you're still getting real music. You're still getting real instruments and improvisation. It, uh, you know, it's a colliding of the best of everything, in my opinion. This performance is so full of energy, so full of intent. The way he's playing these drums, man, no holding back. It is so metronomic, but so rock and in the pocket. Yeah, as I said, like this is the blueprint. If you're not sure of how to play, but you want to crack it and become a big time session uh stadium drummer like this then you know this is a good good place to start you don't have to do the open-handed thing but you know it is exciting it can just make things visually more exciting as well and as i said if you want to play the hi-hats to your left like traditionally a drum kit is set up it does open up all the toms now you can play the toms crossed over but you don't get the power he can do the full, you know, stadium arm swing power, and it's just so exciting. There is a, another thing here, John, and by the way, John, thank you so much for this amazing pick. Um, there is another thing here. I mean, having gone to jazz school myself, we had to learn piano. So all of the drummers, in fact, everybody in the whole school, regardless of what instrument was their primary instrument, we had to learn piano. Now, I remember thinking this was... I wouldn't say I thought it was weird. I was sort of expecting it. I had heard, you know, you got to learn piano, but you kind of hate it, right? Because it's interfering with your drum time. And, and you're thinking, well, you know, how is this getting me better at drums? And you realize later on, they're making you a musician. <laughs> they don't want to be churning out drummers. They want to be churning out musicians. Trent Reznor has not hired a drummer. He's not hired a great drummer. He's hired a great musician. There is a difference. It's not a diss on drummers, but put it this way, the best drummers are the best musicians. <sighs> Hope that made sense and I don't get in trouble for that little rant at the end. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Original video link in the description of the video. Please do sub, like, comment on the video. Helps me out, gets Van Dam dancing. If you would like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you get access to the blocked videos. Direct reaction requests are via the PayPal link. So you can get over there and guaranteed request on the channel. And guys, as I said at the start, my Drumeo free trial link is back up and working. Don't delay. Go jump on it. All right. Until next time. Take care. Ciao.